Hey ladies, and once again, thank you so much for joining me. And today I'm gonna to be talking about foundation, but it's gonna be a little different because I'm going to, this is gonna be more of a very basic, what you need to know when you're going in the store looking for foundation, because foundation to me is one of the hardest things to do when it comes to makeup, finding the right color, the right shade, the right coverage with the right undertone and with the correct lasting power to fit your daily needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. There's four things that you need to know about foundation before you go into any store. You need to know the type of foundation that you want, the coverage that you want, Want, the tool that you want to use for your foundation and you need to know your finish those are the four things so first we're going to start with the apple with the type of foundation basically when you're talking about foundation you can get a powder foundation or a liquid foundation one thing about a liquid foundation a liquid foundation of course is anything that is liquid and it typically comes in some type of bottle like this when we're talking about a liquid foundation it lasts longer and it gives you more coverage now a powder foundation is something that looks more like this and when we say a powder foundation excuse me this is empty <laughs> But we're talking about a powder foundation that has been pressed into a pan, okay? So those are your two types. You need to decide on liquid found or found or powder. Liquid will give you more coverage and it'll last longer. Uh, powder will even out your skin tone. It, quite, it might not give you as much coverage and it won't last as long. So you kind of need to decide which one that you want. Let's go on to the second thing you need to know about your foundation. The second thing is coverage. So when you go into a store looking for a foundation, they're gonna wanna know how much coverage you want. Coverage is basically how much of your imperfections is it going to cover. You can have a light, medium or full. Light coverage is basically, it will even out your skin tone. Most of us, even you can have the prettiest skin, the smoothest skin, but you typically have more than one color on your face. So if you use a light foundation, it'll pretty much even out your skin tone and kind of give you a one skin tone complexion. Okay, but with light now, if you have any dark marks, acne scars, hyperpigmentation that you're trying to cover, a light will not cover that. It might blend it out a little bit and make it not, it's not as noticeable, but it's not going to cover your imperfections. Medium coverage. Medium will give you that even skin tone, meaning kind of like one color and it'll get rid of a little uh, maybe darkness around the eyes and it will cover some of your imperfections, dark spots, uh, acne scars and things like that, but it won't totally cover it and it won't totally give it away. It'll kind of fade it out. Now a full coverage, a full beat glam coverage is gonna be a little thicker. That's a heavier coverage. And what's that? what that's gonna do is gonna even out that skin tone once again. It'll get rid of some dark circles here. Your perfections will totally be gone. That is a full coverage. Now with that being said, if you're really trying to get rid of some dark uh, spots, some um, hyperpigmentation, you might have to do some color correcting underneath and that's kind of like a whole nother video to get that flawless flawless look but basically you have your light medium to full coverage I will say this if you're a very young young girl and you don't have a lot of acne issues and you're a teenager you will probably want a light uh, coverage if you are a person who you, you're getting dark around here as you age or you might have some hyperpigmentation especially for african-american women we have a tendency to be darker here then you will want to go with a medium to full coverage now let's go on to the third thing that you need to know about your foundation Third thing that you want to know about your foundation is your application tools. You got to put it on with something. So let's talk about powder. For example, you do have powders, once again, that are pressed in. With these powders, you can either use a brush or you can use a sponge. And typically, typically these powders come with something. So you can use that for your application tool. The thing I want you to know about brushes, when you are using a brush, remember, if your brush is very uh, dense, meaning if it's very, um, it doesn't do a lot of movement, like here, when you put your hand on top, that means it's a pretty dense brush. 
the dense the more dense the brush is the heavier it will put on your foundation this brush here is much lighter okay you can it's more flexible it's much fluffier and it's softer when it's less dense like this brush it will put less product on your face so more dense more product less dense less product for example this brush here i use this brush to blend in so if i put in a put on a little bit too much uh blush or something like that i kind of use this to buff out things so this is what this brush is for because it's a uh it's not as dense and it's much fluffier this brush here i use to put on uh my powder okay because it's denser and it's going to give me more coverage with my powder now when you're talking about a liquid foundation a liquid foundation can be applied with a brush like these something a little bit smaller okay or you can also apply liquid with a beauty sponge this particular and it's dirty i know i didn't have time to wash it i got a lot of stuff to do y'all <laughs> I wish I would have had time to wash it before, but I didn't. This is called a, this is a beauty sponge. There are tons of them out there on the market. This is basically a drugstore. It runs you about $5, and this is a real technique beauty sponge. These sponge needs to be damp. Make sure they are damp when you are using them. I typically run them uh, through the water, and then once they're wet, I take my towel, hold it over, get some of that uh, extra water off, and then I'm ready to go. All right. So, and the last tool that you can use for liquid foundation are your fingers. A lot of people like to rub in their foundation with their fingers and you can do that. I don't because I don't like it getting underneath my nails and things like that. So, those are the three tools that you can basically use. If you're using liquid, you can use your hands. You can use a damp beauty sponge of any brand of your choice or you can use a brush. If you are using a powder as your foundation, you can use a sponge or a brush. All right, let's go on to the next thing. The next thing that you really need to know about your foundation is you need to know the finish. Foundation comes in several different finishes, but I'm gonna basically tell you two that you really need to know. Your first finish that I'm, the first finish that I'm going to talk about is more of a satin, or you'll hear the words dewy finish. Satin and dewy finish are, is more of a finish that gives you like a little glow. Your face looks a little not wet, but just a little dewy. For example, right now it's summertime, and if you were to like maybe go outside and jog in place for a few seconds and come back in, you notice your face will be a little bit more shiny or have a little bit more of that dewy look. That's pretty much what that is. The next one is a matte finish. A matte finish is a finish kind of like when you first put on powder and you have like that, that velvet or that powdery look, but not in a bad way, not cakey. That is a matte finish. It's more of a drier finish to the face. So it's just on your preference. I live in a very humid climate, so I prefer a matte finish and even though sometimes I'm like oh my face is a little bit too powdery or a little bit too matte I don't worry about that because I know once I go outside in the elements once my oil starts my natural oil starts to kick in with my foundation it ends up giving me a really nice finish but I prefer a matte finish now the reason why I decided to make this video is because like I said at the beginning foundation is something that is so hard to find Here's a few things that I would like to suggest. Uh, Sephora is a good place to go as well as Ulta and I'm gonna tell you why. Sephora is a good place to go because most of those people there have been trained to teach you how to find the proper foundation for you. Ulta is great because also Sephora, let me say this, will give you a sample of the foundation. So what I suggest, go in there, Get them to try about two to three foundations on you. They will give you a sample. They will label it. Once you go home, you try it for a couple of days, and then you can just go and order it online. But we do know Sephora uh, is more of a high-end store for makeup. Now, this is the reason why I like Ulta. Ulta is a great store because they have high-end brands as well as your drugstore brands. The only thing about your drugstore brands is that you're not able to try them on. So with Sephora, you can kind of get them to help you out 
with both types of uh, found with, with both types of makeup, meaning your higher end and your lower end. And I do believe uh, Sephora will give you samples as well. Now, when you go in these stores to try on foundation, I suggest you wear something like this or something where your your um, your neck is visible. So that way when they put the foundation on, you can really tell if it matches your skin. If you go in and you have something on your body where you don't have a lot of skin showing or a lot of neck, it's kind of hard for you to see if it really matches your foundation. The next thing I suggest is that when you go in those stores, try different lightings. Walk around the mall, run some errands, go get a, a quick snack and look at the foundation using different type of lights before you you make a um, determination or before you make a purchase of what you're going to buy so those are just a few tips I really hope these things help you out I will be doing more videos on how to apply foundation and how I apply my foundation but also before I go let me share with you some of the foundations that I use one of my favorite foundations I've recommended to some of my friends and they loved it loved it and a few of my friends didn't but this foundation I love I use a uh, 355 coconut and this is the Maybelline matte fit me poreless and they have came out with more colors and they also have other finishes as well I think they have like a a sat, satin finish or dewy finish but this is a great place to start and it should run you no more than six dollars excellent place to start the next foundation I've been wearing this foundation at least three years now so I probably bought five six seven eight bottles of this this is the matte oh no this one this is by Mac I'm sorry and it is the match master it has a SPF a SPF of a 15 and I wear the color 8 also I wear the color seven and a half just depending on uh, what time of year is it and what's going on with my skin but this is really really great and it comes in a clear bottle and I believe this will run you anywhere from 30 to about $35 I also bought the uh, Mac next to nothing this is very 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 sheer this is like a light light coverage and it does have a satin finish this is the one thing i don't like but what i have done i've mixed this with other foundation and it kind of gave me like a matte finish with just a little satin finish to it so it is nice to mix with other makeup but if you're looking for something very light this is a good place to start and i believe this is about 30 to 35 dollars now this is something brand new i've only been doing using this for a week and i am getting ready to film a video about this particular foundation once i finish this video and it is all hours foundation it's by ysl it is this and the color is what's the color b80 b80 that's the color it's really really nice i'm liking it so far i have it on right now i've had it on about an hour but it's expensive <laughs> it is very very expensive this bottle here is 58 bucks but i'm liking it so far so i just kind of wanted to let you know some of the foundations that i have used over the years thank you once again for watching you guys be blessed and you guys make this day the best day that you ever had and i will talk to you guys later bye